All right, his emails are like still getting ready, even though like the game had already started. Anyway, this can be a pretty high octane match because uh, Young Link is a pretty fast moving character. He does have the option to do like some pullback because of like his projectiles, but the nature and the, like the, the like the way his projectiles work uh, kind of lend themselves to let him push advantage rather than like build a wall. Um, yeah, and like we see Malstretch just going in, and uh, right now two to one damage ratio in his favor. So we're trying to keep him off, but. Wasn't really able to. Okay. Ooh, I like that. Really shows a lot of like confidence and control of your character. So Master going for that deep uh, back air, really like that, and was able to secure the kill with it too. That sends a message, man, because like you see when someone does that, and like you're, there's a part of your brain that's like ready to see them SD, and you go idiot, and then you die. Who's the idiot now? But yeah, no, just really great pressure by Malstrad, doing really, like, dancing around these projectiles really well. You saw he held that shield up because in anticipation, knowing that he wouldn't be able to get anything out when that boomerang came back. But, ooh! Malstrad be dancing, he'd be schmooing right now. Okay, all right. And yeah, now we're seeing a, basically a full stock lead. Now, Young, Young Link is no stranger to like getting kills. He's a very uh, strong character, but he still needs to like get in the position for it, just like anyone else. And right now, Maltrak, he's not even on the stage. Now, he's doing that of his own accord, you know? So, oh my god, just trapping that jump. Uh, just this endless pressure, 100 damage. Honestly, taking two stocks and only taking 100 uh, damage, really Good. <laughs> All right. Alcerat is not playing games right now. This is serious business. He like he's now understanding the fact that like he's at high percent, so he's pulling back just a little bit. He's like, I will continue to go for more neutral, nuanced uh, exchanges if I can get every little bit. Every drop out of this stock. Just a little bit of damage here, a little bit of damage there. That F smash was a little bit of a reach, but you saw that he was out of range from that F tilt, so it actually worked out. And still, you know, not dead. And already dealt 80 damage on Xro's last stock. I actually really like this, because, like, there's two types of ways you can play with a hard lead like this. You know, you can try and go in and go for that extra special stuff, because if you get it awesome, uh, you'll finish things quicker. Or you can really just hang on to it and just be like, yeah, I'm just like, bro, try and kill me. You can't. I love this. Maybe not pick Smashville next time. I don't know. I feel like Smashville's doing a really good job of, like, being able to keep him away. Just because the platform doesn't move doesn't mean it's not good for Pikachu. All right, finally going to take a stock. Uh, I think Young Link took a swig of glue real quick. Uh, but 130 damage with a two stock deficit. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. And, yeah, you just see that Mouse Rats just sticking to his game plan. It's doing, he's doing a really good job. Uh, actually, Extra is doing, once he got rid of that first stock, you see that he kind of turned up a little bit. It might be a little bit too little too late, but if he's able to get that adaptation in, uh, he might be able to carry that into the next game, even if he does lose. And, you know, that might still stand true. So we'll see how he adapts to that. So Mousetrack is going to be taking game one. Allergic to using the tablet. All right, so we're going to Battlefield. I don't know what he got rid of because he didn't use the tablet. It's like right there, bro. Just, just, just tap it. Just tap it. Just do it. Anyway, uh, so you see Xro is actually considering maybe going a different character, opting to go Game & Watch. I have not really seen too much Game & Watch, like other than like, these are on like the super high 
level, so this should be kind of interesting to see. Uh, Game Watch is a slippery character, so picking a stage like Battlefield can actually be really beneficial to him. You know, just remember, all of those edges means Pikachu gets a lot of movement. Uh, he gets a he gets a movement buff, you know. So, you, it's a double-edged sword, you know. But like Game Watch, from as from what I know about him, you know, he's a character that like he can he has a lot of get off me options. So like he kind of just will like stick to himself, you know. So like even though you're moving all around, if you can't get in, then you can't get in. Um. Yeah, I see Axro going for like some more setups. Uh, he's actually doing a pretty good job because he's at least right now uh, in the stock lead. That was the quietest F smash. We just heard Pikachu go P. Yeah, so only taking 40 damage and uh, basically just erasing Morales Rat's first stock. Really good stuff. Okay. Yeah, it's just like that's the thing. You know, it's like you can't get in on him, then uh, you actually do. You actually struggle. And x is just taking it slow. He has the lead now, and he realized, he saw, like, what Malzrat was doing game one, and he's using that uh, just to, ugh. You know, he's just like, I know that, I know how you're going to play. I know that you're going to, like, try to weave around. So going get him watch is actually a pretty solid pick. That down tilt, doesn't that, didn't, I think I recently heard that that thing only hits grounded opponents. Do, does the ledge count as grounded? Someone in the chat, let me know. I'd actually be really curious. Or if all of my information is straight up wrong, I don't know. You guys are saying no, but I'm not. Ledge does count. Oh, you can't down tilt people. All right, so I think X-Ro doesn't know that he can't do that. Because in no situation would that have landed. But... Anyway, Malfrak actually going to be taking that second stock, uh, only taking 60 damage. So he is doing a, uh, he's definitely getting some, uh, some intel, some adaptation to Pikachu's play here, uh, to Game & Watch's play. But, you know, he still has to close this percent gap. While it isn't the biggest, uh, you know, Game & Watch sometimes can kill you by accident. It's just that, like any time that you're in like a neutral position and like you need to get in on this guy. He's hard, man. It's hard to get into. I'm going to say it over and over again. Okay. All right, but Okay, Mouse Rat evening up these percents now. Uh I would say like Ooh, I really like that walk. I, I love it when people just like use their mobility as like the input for their turn because it's just like it just spooks the hell out of your opponent you know they're like oh they're gonna do something and he's just like well I did do something I moved at you but not gonna be enough Mousetrat gonna lose his second stock uh, 99 damage on Game Watch Game Watch super light character so you know oh wow that was risky oh my lord Ooh, ooh, I really like that down there. That was crazy. All right. Uh, I was trying to, knowing that, like, he has to, like, make something happen uh, if he doesn't want to lose this game. And he did. Now dealing uh, a, a modest amount of damage, evening up that per those percents. Ooh, ooh. Why are you down tilting? Like, I don't know, like, it, maybe just from the spectator side, like, it felt obvious that Mouse wasn't going to go in. So it's like, at that point, you don't want to overextend. You just, like, if you get a turn where you don't have to block, like, jump out, jump away, reset. Like, Mouse Rat's very, his, his aggression is passive. <laughs> he, puts, he puts that post-it note with a complaint on the fridge so you can see it next morning. All right, if you don't wash the dishes. That dash attack, not going to be enough. Almost was, though. I think he could have went for another dash attack right there. All right, next row. Go for the Hail Mary. Just nine him. All right, staying above him, trying to bait the, uh, the thunder so he could get the bucket. 
And that would definitely even things up in terms of, oh, wow, that could be it. That could be it. Yes, it is. Yeah, he saw the little pump by extra. He's just like, look how silly my character is. Mr. Kamen All right, so Extro uh, evening this up again. Uh, they're allergic to using the tablet, so I don't know what they ban, but um, I actually kind of missed what stage they picked. But regardless. Ooh, the Lucina pick. Yo, uh, Extro just going through the, uh, the rotation of characters. Oh, or not. You know what? Never mind. Oh, hey, Odyssey. Yeah, Smash EG exploded today, so we just loaded up on, uh, on Challenge. Yeah. Okay. Extra went from being really close and, like, sitting up to now, like, really low, and I have to load the camera again. Like, where are you going, bro? Where are you going? I don't know. It might be worth sticking back to it. Anyway, game three. Uh, Lucina as Extro's third character. So, Extro has basically been keeping Mouse Ride guessing every single game. Just like he has to adapt to like different play styles because of the different archetypes that the characters are. Because like Young Link, Game & Watch, and Lucina are not like similar at all. We had like, you know, this like, I mean, I guess you could say the Game & Watch and Young Link could be, like, potentially similar with some things, but I don't really feel like Anyway, anyway, anyway. Uh, now you just have, like, aggression from Lucina. But Malzrat just being like, nah, this is my stage. Um, he did everything right uh, that second game. He's just like, he's just going to do it again. Uh, at least this time, Lucina can't ground him. I'm curious as to why he didn't stick with Game I mean, I guess I can understand why he didn't stick to Game Watch. It did get a little bit too close for comfort. He'd rather not have that fire. Don't be doing counters like that. Especially, again, when you see that your opponent is playing, like, a like a passive uh, role where he's, like, switching between, like, his offense and defense, but no matter what, it's passive. Like, he's going to wait. You know? Like, you have to put him in, a like, a higher stress situation if you want to try and get like a counter going because he ain't mashing so you can't do it the mash like unless you think he's mashing because then that's just straight up disrespectful my man ain't mashing right now that's actually hilarious so he went for the grab because he saw that clearly he missed right but because the the her hurt box shifted from the way that she like moves to perform the down smash so it turned into a whiff punish and he ended up killing him even up those stocks so, uh, quote unquote, good stuff by Extro. Uh, I, I'm not really going to say he did that on intentionally. Anyway, fairly even percents, although right now Alistrat is has both stage advantage and winning in the percent race. Ooh. Okay, I don't know who you're countering, bro. Maybe there's a fly and he's just trying to get rid of it. It's like on his shoulder or something. It flies in your face and you're just like, I can't handle this. So he's just waiting. Luke Lucina is going to be like, you're open. Except it's like, but whatever. Anyway. Didn't eat his jump. That was good. You also have to make sure to keep your jump manage resource management uh, when there's like hazard uh, projectiles going off. Bro, I... <sighs> I feel like Extro's Lucina is not as polished as his Young Link, or even his Game and Watch. Like I haven't seen too much of his Game and Watch, but like you could tell that he kind of like had a better understanding on how to do. But you know, sometimes it doesn't matter because uh, the one time Mouser actually tries to go a little bit deeper into trying to push something, because he's sent, he's beginning to be a little bit more disrespectful to the Lucina, seeing all these kind of 
amateurish like approaches, um, gets upbeat and stage spiked and dies. All right, 115 to 100 mi less than that. Okay, that's not going to be it, though. Seen him much heavier than Game & Watch. Much heavier than Game & Watch. Game & Watch is dumb light. Okay, that that's not going to be it. Ooh, all right. He tried to get the, like, the tail end of that uh, back air. I... Malzrat has not once made like a direct, like straightforward type of approach. So I really just don't like any of these counters at all. Extra, if you watch this, please, please don't counter like that. Like I, I'm sure in hindsight, after every single time you do it, you kind of realize it. I believe in you, but this is not the way. This is not the way. All right, now you know what's actually funny. We're now in a scary situation where like she could get the kill. Like, Pikachu needs to kill now, or else, you know, she might hit hard. And, yep, good resource management, saving the jump. Ooh! So, remember, what happened there was that he got hit, so he's not going to snap to the ledge right away. He ends up, you know, has to wait 55 frames for that to, to connect. And Mouse Rat was fully ready to get that dash attack in. So, really good stuff with Mouse Rat. Going to be moving on to the next round.